Right. Welcome to our all levels yoga flow practice. This is our noon time. So it's a really just a great way to break up the day. So I'm gonna start down low, seated. It's a great place for you to start as well. So just come to a seated pose where it's going to be comfortable for you to sit for a moment and center in. So I have a, of course, yoga strap. If you have a strap or scarf or belt of some kind that could work, if you have a block or no block, that works too. I just always have a couple props just in case, a couple blocks or a block and a strap is like your base if you want some props. Otherwise, just bring yourself. Bring yourself and your willingness to modify and adjust to whatever this day brings. You don't even need a yoga mat. You could practice completely on a floor. It gets a little slippery, so it's helpful to have that stick of the mat, but it's never required. Uh, and as an introduction for anyone watching replay who has not taken a class with me yet, my name is Ashley. This is Ash's Yoga Studio in downtown Polsbo. I'm so happy to bring you these virtual classes through the online world. All right, so our all levels yoga flow practice. We start seated. You're already there, awesome. So let's sit up a little taller. Soften a bit more through the face, the shoulders. And you can choose if you want to close your eyes or keep your eyes open. If your eyes are open, look down. A little tuck of the chin. And then your hands are resting wherever is comfortable. They can be palms facing up, palms facing down, or even in your lap. As we start our yoga practice, this is our moment to transition from life to practice moment to transition from all the chaos and the crazy, the fluctuations of life and stuff into just right here and right now. And how we do that is to pay attention to your breath. It comes in and out through the nose. Feel your belly expand on an inhale and slow down the exhale. It can be tempting to just want to move right away and go fast, but let's start slow. Let's start with the setup, the basics, always coming back to the basics. Even as you advance in your practice, coming back to basics, to the start, to the foundation is a great place to meet up every day. So take a few more deep breaths. Notice that softness coming into your body and filling every stuck area. Notice openness doing the same. And take one more deep breath and open your mouth, let it go. <sighs> you sort of sink in now. We'll take some movements, simple movements. We'll start from the head and work your way down. So first look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. and back to the center. Take your head round in circles, just a few each direction. And you can do half circles or full circles. And bring your head back up to center. Good, now work into the shoulders a little bit. So hands again, wherever comfortable, take those shoulders and give yourself a big shoulder roll. Do that a few times. You can even get your midsection, your torso into it. So a little cat and cow style of a roll. And then the other direction, back, up, and around. And then we hopefully aren't, well, some of us experiencing more tension than others. So let's try this. 
Put your ears or your shoulders up as earrings, so way up, and then just drop. Do that again. Shh. Lots of tension, tightness, and then relax and drop. Maybe a couple little bounces. One more time, lift up and drop. Good, switch the crossing of your legs. If your legs are crossed, switch. Okay, let's reach up. Let's add a little bit of core strengthening, supporting the spine, that area of the body that sends a lot of information from the head down to the rest of the body. So you gotta keep it safe and strong. One hand comes down, right arm comes across, or you can pick a side. Inhale, reach up. We're gonna flow back and forth, side to side, palms face each other until you tilt to the side. Inhale, reach up. Keep going side to side and making sure to mark that inhale with a full lengthen up to the sky. Let's do two more. One more. And then how about a twist? Reach up, take your right hand to your knee, left hand behind you, look back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale up. Three each direction, so keep going. And one more. Reach up. Let's work it forward. Take your hands down in front of you. Roll over onto your hands and knees or swing your legs around. Simple cat and cow pose. Arch your back, look up, round, or round, arch the back, rod into the shoulders, then press into the hands and round the back. And let's get entirely into that full spine. Instead of just a pelvic tilt working that low back, try to get into the shoulders, the press into the hands, the tuck of the chin. <sighs> this also is working core strength in a really great, simple way. And as I was saying, previously is if you show up to this class, it's an hour long or about an hour long, and you only get through 10 to 15 minutes, you're still going to reap the benefits of a yoga practice. It might not be as strength building or as flexibility building, but it's still going to work in your benefit. So these spinal movements and breath work, if that's all you did, you're on the path to a healthier, longer life. All right, stay in a neutral position. Walk the hands forward, just in front of the shoulders. Tuck the toes under. Lift the knees and send those hips back, downward dog. So we're doing a little pedal of the feet, bending one knee at a time. Now we're getting into the legs. Can you feel the hips, the legs, the hamstrings, the calves? Good, we just feel them. We don't do anything with that knowledge. We just feel them, acknowledge. Notice, walk your feet forward, just behind the hands. Bend the knees, grab the elbows and hang out. Sway from side to side. So we're gonna get a little bit more into our back strengthening. You can either take the hands on your elbows or keep them on your shins as we do some half lifts. So it's a little bend in the knees, lengthen through the back, elbows forward, half lift. Exhale, take it down into that fold. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, half lift, reaching the elbows or pressing hands on shins. Exhale down, release those hands, fingertips find the floor, half lift again, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees and roll yourself up to a standing pose. Shoulders roll back. Your feet are going to be a little bit wider here. 
Bend the knees, our horse stance. We're gonna work a little bit more with this breath. Because we're standing, we can get fuller here. Take the hands by your thighs. Deep breath in, hands to shoulders. Press the hands forward and down. Wheel breath is called. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward and down. Make it soft, soft in the hands. Heavier in the heels and the toes. So let's work a little core strength. And what we're going to do is take the hands to shoulders, round the back, strong exhale, engage as you round like cat, cat pose. <sighs> hands up to shoulders, over to the side, exhale, turn to the side and press. Feel the side bend, the obliques, the core working. Inhale, soft up. Over to the other side, exhale. Inhale, lift up. One more breath with a strong exhale, pull the belly in, every ounce of air comes out. Inhale, hands up to shoulders, and float them straight down. Straighten the legs, reach up. Hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, press the palms down together, or grab the wrist, look up, fold it forward. Work some space into the shoulders. Shake out the head. And release those hands down. Heel toe the feet closer together. Second time rolling yourself up. Rise up, we'll head into our sun salutations. So you can come to the top of the mat. Top of the mat or top of where you are standing. Feet can be together or slightly apart. Palms forward, standing up tall, mountain pose. As you inhale, we reach up, sweep the arms up. Exhale, open the arms, diving down, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Lengthen the back, hands on the shins or the floor, half lift, looking beyond the front of the mat. Exhale as you plant the hands down, step back to plank pose. Plank being a straight line in the body. Let's take the knees down to start with. Elbows pointing to the back of the room. Hug the elbows in as you lower just halfway down or even a little less. Press the heart forward. You can point the toes. It's a version of up dog on the knees. Looking forward, roll those shoulders back. Now stay here. Pause. Look to the side. So you look to your right, over your right shoulder. You might look over your left shoulder. And back to the center. Using the weight in the hands and the knees, lift the hips, pull the belly in, tuck the toes, downward dog. Oh, good place to find now some stillness. We're in this pose again. This is our sun salutation A, so we'll try that a couple more times. Walk your feet forward to the top of the mat. As a prep breath, you do a half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Rising up, feel free to bend the knees a little. Open those arms, lead with the backs of the wrists and lift. Rise, hands down to your hearts. Let's do that again. Palms down, reach out and up. Lengthen, exhale, forward fold, open arms, diving down. Good half lift, inhale. Plant the hands down, step back your plank pose again. Walk your feet back. You can choose from the knees or the toes. Off of the knees, it's gonna be more challenging. Of course, it's a big strength pose. It's called chaturanga. Shift forward on the tippy toes from your knees or your toes. Elbows bent no more than 90 degrees. Shoulders in front of the wrists. Press the heart forward to up dog. And downward facing dog. Lift those hips up and back. Chest towards the thighs and gaze towards the toes. And then we bend the knees, look to where you want your feet to go, step to the top of the mat. Half lift, forward fold, rising up tall, inhale, reach up. Here, let's take a side bend over to the left side, exhale, connecting those hands. Inhale, reach up, over to the right, exhale. Inhale, reach up, dive back down again, open those arms, forward fold. I'm gonna change this up, so listen. Half lift, 
Step your left foot back only into a lunge. Left foot. Good, back knee comes down. This is where your hands can be on a block or stay on the floor. Flatten that back foot. And I really like this little flow that we're going to do here. It's half splits to low lunge. So with the fingers staying on the floor or hands to the thigh, straighten that front leg, pull the toes back as you exhale. Inhale, come forward. Exhale back. We'll do this three times. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Stay here. Take your left hand, keep it down on the floor. Right arm reaches up. Find that twist. Find it, look for it. Well, it's right there. So you reach up. And as an option, you can tuck the back toes under and lift that knee off the ground. You'll find more strength through that left leg. Good, then take that right hand down and around to the inside or the outside of that right foot, doesn't matter, because we're stepping it back to downward facing dog. Good, right leg just stepped back. Staying there, awesome, awesome. Take the same leg that was just forward, the right leg, and lift it up behind you. Bend your knee, flex the foot, open up in the hip. Sometimes called a scorpion dog, but let's rotate through that right ankle, right foot. And then take the knee down, so pointing to the floor, neutral in the hips and pelvis. Step the right foot forward. How we do that, lift the left heel, knee to nose, right knee to nose, flex that right foot, step into a lunge. Back heel spins down, warrior stance. Rise up by sweeping the arms up or crawling those hands up. Connect the hands at the top and press the thumbs back, warrior one. Hips are facing front of the rim. You might widen the stance. Take your hands behind your back. We're gonna add humble warrior. Palms press down, lift that chest, and then lean forward, right shoulder to right knee, and relax your head, your neck, palms will reach up. Release your hands down to the floor. Pick up the back heel, so heel turns, picks it up, bend the back knee, step forward, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold it down. Let's rise up, inhale, reach up. Back to the side bends again, over to the left side, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Over to the right side. Lengthen, forward fold, exhale, take it down again. Half lift, inhale. Step your right foot back into your lunge. Good, back knee comes down. Flatten that back foot or point the toes, however. Hands are in line with that front foot, lifting in that chest. So we're avoiding this round in the back and taking those hips down, chest up. Good, back and forth from low lunge to half splits. Let's send the hips back, pull the toes back, feel the hamstrings. Inhale, feel the strength of that front foot, front leg, and stretch of the hip flexors. Let's go back and forth two more times. And then stay in that lunge with the bent knee. Right hand stays down, left arm reaches way up. Twist, you can tuck the back toes, lift the knee, keep it down, up to you. Press down through the big toe of that left foot, keeping the knee close to that right shoulder. And from this twist, right, left hand comes down and around. On the inside or the outside, we'll just step it back, downward facing dog. Lifting that left leg, take it high, good. Bend the knee, rotate or lift and open through the hip if that feels all right, and then rotate through the left foot and ankle.
Right, let's level off the hips so the knee points down again. Keep the knee bent, shift forward, lifting into the tippy toes of the right foot, knee to nose, step between the hands. Warrior stance, back heel down. Seal the blade of the foot, rise up. Connect those hands again, press the thumbs back. Let's get into a little back bend here, but pulling in the lower belly. So rather than arching in the back, pull that in and try to open through the chest more so. Look up or slightly up in front of you. Squeeze the front heel and back heel together. Then interlace the hands behind you, opposite thumb on top, press down, squeezing shoulders, lean forward. Left shoulder to left knee or sneaking it on the inside. Relax the head. Look back towards the right heel. Humble warrior. Then release those hands to the ground. In front of that left foot. Pick up the back heel, bend the back knee. Step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Half lift, exhale, forward fold. Rising up, inhale, reach up. We do our side bends to finish to the left side. Inhale, lift to the right side. Inhale, lift, and hands by your side. We're gonna do some balance poses at this point. So it sort of breaks up our flow a little bit, but that's all right. So we're gonna ground down through the left foot and take the right foot to our tree pose. So kickstand or up the leg, anywhere up the leg is fine. Knee opens, hips forward, and we reach those arms up. Play around with the gaze. What we're doing is working strength into the psoas or the hip. There's this little muscle in the hip called the psoas. Just work that. Finding balance. Those of you who are on a wood floor, it's gonna be a little easier than carpet. We'll do a little transition here. So let's open the arms wide. Take your knee, your right knee, pull it in and lift it up. And let's just try this movement. Flex to the foot, take that knee out to the side and down, knees together. And again, core strength draws your knee up and around. And then draw that knee up and hold it. Hold it. Flex the foot. Hinge forward, extend that right leg back. Warrior three. Look down just beyond your nose at the floor. Bend to that front knee. I think it's the left one still. Step way back into a lunge, reach up. Hands come down to the floor, step back to single leg plank pose. Another balance. Single leg plank. We're gonna get into a little bit of core strength here. So your leg is lifted. You might take your knee down, you might. But see if we can stay up. And then the challenge here is to go left hand, right knee, pick up onto the fingertips of the right hand or reach it forward. Pause. It's not easy, I know. It's shaky. It's not a gentle pose, it's all strength. <laughs> and take it down, downward facing dog. And just a few breaths in that one. Walk the feet forward. Half lift, forward fold, rise up, inhale. And let it go, let's do the other side. Let's go side to side, I like that, even though we could add tons and tons more in a long sequence. I like the little, you know what to expect now. Right foot down, left foot makes its way, knee bent up the leg to tree pose. Reaching up, standing tall, and breathing. Becoming a rooted, rooted and grounded version of yourself. Hmm. 
and then open those arms out to the side. <laughs> Find your balance. Lift the knee up. Flex the foot. Let's do our hip circles out to the side and around. Now we can easily do this also in a down dog or hands and knees, these hip circles, and get the same sensation. Today we're working the hips with balance and, and core strength. So you're feeling in that right leg. Yes, I know. And then they'll take that knee up and lift it. Right, up and lifted. Send the body forward, leg back, warrior three. Extend. So rather than just hang out here, reach long from crown of the head to heel, finger to finger. And gently step back into a lunge. Reach up. Exhale, hands down on the floor. Step that right foot back, single leg plank. So shift, hold. Pause here. Pause. You might shift under that right hand. Maybe reach the left hand forward. Pause. Left knee could come down if you want to try the lift. But this is a little much. Stay here for two more breaths. And we're down. Feet hands down, downward facing dog. Let's take the knees down. Sit back in your child's pose. Just for a moment to release all of that. Let's shift it back to downward facing dog. Body come forward, hips lift up. Walk your feet to the top of the mat. Half lift, forward fold, and rising up, inhale. Hands down. Okay, we're gonna take our feet wide, just step it wide so we're not going through a complete flow. For this, we'll do a little shift from side to side. So, legs wide, turn the right toes out to the side, bend the knee. Open the arms. Warrior two, gazing over front fingertips. So now we're getting a little more into this opening external rotation of the hips. Squeezing through the glutes to the backside and hugging the knees together, or hugging the heels together. Flip the right palm, reverse warrior, inhale. Pause, shoulder soft, exhale. One more deep inhale as you reach. Then tilt the forward elbow to your thigh, left arm reaching up high. One breath. Back to reverse warrior for a moment. And back to side angle for another moment. Exhale. Back to warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Back foot comes in a few inches. Reach long. Maybe the heel points more to the back. Triangle pose. Let's turn our body so the left shoulder stacked over right. Look up towards the left hand. And then rise up, bending in that front knee, lift up. I'm just going to shift side. So we can take it wide again. And the star, left foot turns out to the side, bend into the knee. Warrior two, look over left fingertips. Flip the left palm, we'll do a full breath up here. Inhale, reach reverse warrior. And then back up and through as you exhale, left elbow to thigh, right arm reaches up, side angle. Back to reverse warrior for a second. And exhale, side angle. Lift back up to warrior two, straighten the front leg. Right foot, back foot comes in a little bit. Reach forward, left hand, look down. Find your ankle, shin, right above the knee, wherever for your triangle pose. See if we can get less weight into that left hand though. Look up towards right hand or down, towards left. Okay, 
Bend into that front knee. Lift back up, turn the toes towards me, star position. Hands on the hips, deep breath in. And take the hands down into your forward fold, wide leg forward folds. Good. Let's walk the hands over to the right side, pivot in the legs, pick up the back heel, low lizard lunge. So bend that right knee, hands on the inside of that right foot. And we can stay here, lengthened, or let's get into forearms or on blocks. The back knee up or down, again, up to you. I don't like to tell you that you have to do something but there are so many variations. Not good, not bad, not worse, not easier, not harder. Just a variation that you could try. Okay, we're gonna press back up, hands on the ground, straighten that front leg. Walk it over to the other side, over to the back of the mat. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Let's get into that lizard lunge on this side, taking about five breaths or so. So noticing if you can take the forearms down or knee lifts or lowers. Right, lift those hips up a little bit, hands up, press up, straighten the legs, walk it to the center. Toes point to the long edge of the mat, bend the knees just slightly, hands on the hips. And using that strength of your body, your core strength, rise up. Step forward, top of the mat. We're making our way down, and we'll stay down from here. Reach those arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Half lift. Step your feet back to downward facing dog. Step back to your, to your inner down dog or even your plank pose. We'll hit up our pigeon pose and variations of pigeon pose. So the right leg first, knee to right elbow, turn the ankle across the mat, place the shin down. Extend that left leg back. So we're gonna sit tall, shoulders back. And pause in this upright position. Getting some like energy, energy for the day and noticing how the hips feel. So then we walk it forward. Forward, forward, forward. Down onto your forearms. If this style or this place is, is a bit much for you today, you can put a block underneath the right hip or come to a seated version or lying down. And real quick, I'll show you the lying down on your back, figure four. Same stretch, just a different position. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and switch sides. You lift back up. Plant the palms down, tuck the back toes under. Step that right foot back. Give it a little shake out. And the left side, left knee comes forward, ankle comes across. Extend, sit tall. And we can work our way down.
And then walk yourself back up, hands under shoulders, tuck the back toes, step the left foot back, give it a little shake out, a little movement. And then take the knees down. Sit back on the heels and swing the legs around. Keep those legs straight in front of you. Straight, sitting tall, rolling those inner thighs away, rolling the inner thighs together, creating space in the back of the legs. Press your palms down. Just find that length, shoulders roll back. Reach up then. And exhale, take your board hinging at the hips. You might find the toes, you might find a strap or a scarf around the toes, or just grab the legs. A nice forward fold, get, get into the hamstrings and the lower back. And then rising up from that forward fold, lift up, bend your knees and take your feet about hip distance apart. We've got to open up just a little more through the front of the body. We've done some forward folds. We'll take the hands behind you, press down through the feet, lift those hips and see if we can get hips to knee height and shoulders back and chest lifted. So this reverse tabletop. And if someone were to eat dinner off your very tabletop, they'd, you wouldn't have any dips or, or or any sort of bumps and grooves. You want to be flat. It'd be helpful to stay stable. So look up or back just slightly without cranking in the neck. Two more breaths. Press down through the big toes. Keep the glutes engaged. And sit back down, finally. I don't think that's a pose a favorite of anybody, so it's okay if you didn't like it. Take the feet together, knees open wide. Sit tall and lean forward. You can grab the feet or keep the hands behind you. You pull down elbows to your thighs, bound angle pose. Hopefully maintaining that breath, always coming back to the breath as your way to connect a little deeper with yourself and your body, your physical sensations, noticing where you need to be. Lift up. If your breath ever gets choppy, that's a cue to back off and take a moment. Reconnect with that solid, fluid breath and then come back in when you're ready. All right, feet together. Toes to the top of the mat, reach it forward and slowly roll down to your back. <sighs> Bend your knees a lot. Then hug your knees in, give it a nice squeeze. Squeeze, 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 maybe rock side to side, even lifting the shoulders and the head. Place the left foot down, right leg extends, pull the back. Rotate through the ankle a couple times. It's always nice to get into the ankles and lower the legs. Left leg extends forward and down. And we'll try this, keeping the legs straight. Can you take the leg across your body, so lift up onto the left hip, leg goes across the body, right arm extended. Got a twist coming up here or going on. So press through the heel. You feel the IT band of the right leg. You feel a lot of that outer right thigh, but also that nice twist into that belly midsection. Keep the shoulder, right shoulder, heavy and grounded. Good, and back up to the top, lift up. Hug your knee in, so you lift back onto that lower back so you're nice and long from front to back of the mat. Hug the knee in and give it a nice squeeze. Place your right foot down. Left leg extends, take it high. Grab behind the leg, pull back. 
Keep the head shoulders down for this pose, nice and soft, and rotate through that left ankle a few times. And then straighten that right leg out on the floor, flexing through the left foot. Let's lift up onto the right hip as you turn the leg across. Grab the leg in the right hand, left arm extended out to the side. The more you pull up towards the upper body in that leg, the more you're going to feel in the hip section in that um, outer thigh. So how much do you want to feel? Let's bring that leg back up to the top. Lift up onto you know, the tailbone, making sure we're nice and steady in the middle of the mat. Hug the knee in or rock side to side to reset. Hugging both knees in for a moment, squeeze. And take your feet down, feet together, knees bent, open up the knees out to the side. Rest your palms wherever it feels comfortable. It can be on your belly, your chest, your legs, your, the floor. And pause. See if we can find full passive relaxation right here. So no effort for a, a few breaths. And then lift the knees up and take the feet about hip distance as you knock the knees together. The opposite of what we just did and gives you a different sort of passive hip opening position. And lift the knees off apart from each other. Hug your knees in one more time, squeeze it in. You might grab the feet for happy baby pose as you rock side to side. We're gonna prepare and get ready for Shavasana. So if you have a specific pose you like for Shavasana, you can take that Any, anywhere that you're finding a full relaxation. And if I were in a regular class and it was allowed, I'd be pressing some Lavender essential oil onto your shoulders and making us feel really, really relaxed. So let's, let's just take those legs in that comfortable place. It can be what the place we were already in, knees open or knees together, or extend the legs, let the feet fall open, and hands resting by your side. This, just like the beginning of our practice, this uh, silent place is a nice, Again, transition. It's our practice into our life. So take some time to just absorb what we just took in. And to be here, noticing the breath, the body, and soft sensations. What more can you soften? What more can you relax? And if nothing more, Stay there in that place for a few minutes.
All right, start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Taking a deeper breath in, give yourself some slow stretches, perhaps reaching your hands overhead. Bring your awareness back to your physical sensations, what you're feeling. Bend your knees, roll to your side. And pause there. And from there, press your top hand into the ground and rise up to seated pose where this whole party started we shall also end so sit up tall once again and just notice the difference in now compared to you know, a few minutes ago when we started breathing a little deeper feeling a bit more relaxed and softer but also stronger at the same time and that's part of the process so, and together, so we take our hands and reach up, connect at the top, and then bring them down as we conclude with another single breath in them, so heart center, and the exhale to let it go. And as they say in yoga, the light in me honors and acknowledges the light in each and every one of you. Thank you for joining. Namaste. And there we have it. Another yoga practice completes. I see someone wave. Kimberly, hi. Well, bye. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Mm -hmm.